Hey guys, welcome back to Susan Shares. Well, in my own personal Bible study, I happen to be in Matthew 26, and it is just killing me spiritually. <laughs> I tell you, it really is, because I so relate to Peter. This is where Peter denies Jesus three times after he has already told him, oh, I would never do such a thing, because Jesus says, Peter, you're going to deny me three times after the cock crows, you will deny me three times. And Peter's just devastated when Jesus tells him that because he says, of course I will not. And of course he does. Uh, and I am uh, just, I have just been stuck on that passage because that's so me. I don't know about you. I'm sure it's not, but it is certainly me. Oh no, God, I would never do that. And I, I fail him miserably time and time again. Um, but then I have a dear friend that that is able just to speak life into me, and I pray that I speak life into her. And when I say that, I say this, we're also able to be extremely honest with each other. So at times when she needs encouragement and I need to speak some truth into her, I'm able to do that, and she receives it that way. I, she, therefore, does the same to me and speaks truth into me and has said recently, Susan, you're so very hard on yourself. You're very hard on yourself, and I am. Um, my husband's told me that uh, as well. But in doing that, being hard on myself, as she said, you're so hard on yourself, and it makes you hard on others at times. And ouch, that hurt. But it also is a truth that I do not want to be hard on others. And I, I've got to be, she, her, her point to all that was, Susan, you've got to be more compassionate on yourself. And God does tell us to be, to love ourselves so that we can be, we can love others and to love your neighbor as yourself. And I could just go on and on and the greatest commandment. And uh, so it's a great discussion. Well, how does it relate to Peter? It relates to Peter a lot. And, you know, when you hear the story of Peter, uh, after he denies uh, Jesus three times, then Jesus goes on to Peter and wants Peter to build his church. And of course he does, because he picks Peter because he knows Peter has no pride anymore. You know, Peter looks at Jesus and goes, I will not deny you. And then he denies him three times. And then Peter chooses. I mean, then Jesus chooses this man because he knows Peter does not have pride anymore. I want you to build my church because you know what it's like to have had pride, but you don't have it anymore. You're an humble servant who loves me. And I want to start there. And I want you to build my church. And he knows how much Peter loves him. And I want that same humility. And I want to build whatever Christ wants me to build. Because I want Jesus to build it through me. I don't want pride. I want Jesus. I want him to do what I cannot through me. And so I want him to point me in the right direction. And I want to be compassionate on myself if that's what I need to be so that I can be compassionate toward others. I do not want pride. And I don't want to be hard on myself and be hard on others. I want to show compassion for all people. So I, it's just, I hope that made sense. It certainly made sense to me. But I tell you, Peter is a wonderful friend of mine too close for comfort. I can tell you that. But Jesus accepts us exactly where we are. I love him. He meets us exactly where we are so that he can mold us into exactly who he wants us to be. He's got a plan for all of us. I hope that encourages you today. Okay, bye-bye.